This playthrough is rated T for teen. All right, now it's time to find out if Simon truly has the vampire killer or if he's the vampire here killer. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, I'm here with the finale of Castlevania Chronicles, the original version, or original edition. Um, in the last episode, we finally beat Death and and the Wolf Girl and everything like that. Oh, and the mirror version of ourselves, and good start. So, luckily, I still have the herb from before. The only problem I have is that because it costs like nine, um, nine um, hearts to use, it might not be worth um, and it only heals six, by the way, so I'll try to see if maybe I could use it, utilize it by the time I get to Dracula himself. And we already start out differently. Instead of, like, fighting um, the bats and everything like that, we're fighting his uh, armored soldiers. Soldier, soldiers. I don't know why I was missing him saying it there, but yeah, we got the classic music going on there and everything. Excellent. Now I just hope I can uh, keep the... Whoa! He just charged at us. Oh, well, alright. Oh, I bet we don't even take... He doesn't even take any damage on that, I bet. Yeah, I didn't have the legs. Oh, come on. Stupid... Oh, I was about to say stupid like knight or something like that, but... Oh, there you go! I didn't want to grab that, but it... That's a good start. <laughs> Looks like he was spanking me or something like that. He's like... Take it, Simon. <laughs> what are we, Simon from the uh, Simon Belmont from the Captain and Game Master version of the game? That was uh, definitely an interesting ter interpretation of the classic Nintendo characters. Was that cartoon? I have nostalgic memories for that cartoon, but I I perfectly understand that that is not a uh, what's the word? It's not a it's not a good cartoon. Nostalgic glasses aside, I know it's not a good cartoon. When you think about it, but there is. It's almost so bad it's funny type of thing, type of show, you know. Uh, I have to watch it again one of these days just to kind of see if it's still as bad as I thought it was, like bad funny, or if it's just bad bad at this point. It does have a lot of annoying things in it, let me tell you. And uh, in in the cartoon, Simon Belmont is a um, uh, like a vain like hero who like you know checks his hair, that type of thing, always hits on the princess character. Um, all the time, and uh, yeah, it's just kind of funny how like this hero who has to fight vampires, but yet they decide to make him as a bane jerk. Oh my god, we are not. This episode is not starting off good. We've already died multiple times, but I think if if I remember correctly, just like the um, oh, I know I can I can avoid that too. Um. I think, like in the previous game, I think as soon as you get to the uh, Dracula's, really, as soon as you can get to Dracula's um, inner, inner sanctum, you don't, uh, you don't. Uh... Wow, what is wrong with me today? I know how to beat this part. I think I'm just an anxious. I think just to fight Dracula, like I'm making rookie mistakes. You know. Yeah, let's actually take advantage of our. Okay, am I even hitting him with this thing? Okay, cool. But yeah, I was like, I know how to fight this guy. Why am I keep like messing up so poorly? Yeah, like the, uh, the kind of the um, remix of the classic song. I couldn't tell you for the life of me off the top of my head what each the names of the songs are. You know, I know. Well, I know some of them. Like one of those, like Vampire Killer and stuff like that, but I couldn't tell you like which song is which name of I just know the songs I like and what they what they are and what classics are, but I couldn't tell you. Interesting enough, I, maybe I should save that for actually I was gonna talk about the music, but it's like maybe I should save that for the sequel for the second game, because uh there's a lot of uh the second game kinda has a lot of first for the series when you think about it. Oh I didn't know you could just duck under I didn't know you could just duck under the uh arrow. Huh like the little, like, uh, almost feel like hitting the cowbell or something. So wait, what's the... Oh, I wonder if you go, if you go further into the level, I wonder if that takes you to another, uh, another path or something like that. I bet it does. No, that was actually... 
Yeah, using my own weapon type against me, huh? No. I wonder, it makes me wonder if there's wall chicken over there. It probably is, I bet. And yeah, too bad I'll uh, have to redo this after. I might try going the other path just to see, because I think I saw a. a Should have seen that coming. Alright, let's continue on. That's why I made this a whole episode instead of a. instead of a. instead of tacking on to the previous one. Because I knew I was gonna. I was gonna mess up pretty. Oh man, come, I know how to dodge that! <laughs> I know how to dodge that too. Man, uh, talk about losing your confidence after after uh, dying. Okay. Yeah, I think I saw uh, um, another uh, stairway. That's it. I don't know why I called it ladder on the other side. So I want to see what that is. Before I. I still don't remember how much extra damage you do with the uh, um, weapon if you get the two or three. I just know it does more damage, but or it's faster, something like that. Ah, mm. and you have to go through that whole area again too. That kind of makes this a bit nasty. But I guess like when you finally get to Dracula's abode, the fact that you can just start right right there I guess makes up for the um, for the having to like redo like a whole these multiple sections multiple times if you die instead of you know oh I don't even think I hit him now that I, I noticed oh I could have ducked duck that too man I am just making all the mistakes right now even though I know how to get there there I'm at <laughs> I, I hate to do it, but I may I may have to uh, start cutting to like when I make progress. I'd have to get cut to that room in the future. You know, we'll see what happens though. I don't want to, you know. Let's stay on the ground level. See what happens. Oh no, we have to. Do we have to fight like? Um... I knew he was coming because he had the like the charge up or whatever. It's like do 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 or whatever. I don't know, I almost prefer those giant bats again than, than these guys, you know. Well, I don't know. Maybe I say that because I felt at the time it was more harder, but I don't know, maybe this is more annoying. Maybe hard isn't the word I would use. But yes, annoying is the word I would use. Just keep doing it. I wonder if all these knights knights were fighting, you know, obviously they're empty suits, but I wonder if they're from, like, heroes that try to, like, defeat Dracula in the past or something. They're like, I will beat you, Dracula. And he's like, no, no, no. Yeah, can we just get you to come up so we don't have to fight on the uh, arrow guy? All right, he shoots too. Dang it. Boo Earns. Were you saying Boo or Boo Earns? I was saying Boo Earns. I was about to say, can we even hit him? Ah. I was something about hearing the ah. The axe isn't bad. Well, I was about to say the axe isn't bad, but I was like, no, eh, maybe not. Nope. Well, now, now you're getting the axe. Now you're getting the axe. Even though I didn't want to. Well, we'll get we'll get the weapon we'll need when we actually fight Dracula. You know. oh, I was actually want to get that too. Oh well. Really? All right. And unfortunately, this isn't a reset point, so at least as far as I'm aware of it, it isn't. So. Ooh, hello. 
Well, we have a church here. And chicken on the other side. No! What was the... Actually, what was the point of that? I feel like I've, there's supposed to be something here that we're supposed to be doing. Maybe, I don't know. Well, anyway. Like, that almost seems completely unnecessary of a room, if that makes sense. I don't think there was supposed to be any... Uh, I'm actually generally, like, I don't think there was supposed to be any, like, extra, like, unknown, like, things that happened. Like, um... It must be the next one. Um, like, I don't think they did something similar to Rondo and Blood here, where there was, like, an alternate ending to the game. I think this is pretty much straightforward. Dang it. This has got to be a reset. Really? This is not a reset? Or that wasn't a stage area? What? You gotta be kidding me. That, that uh, I might as well just let myself die, really, because I don't know how many times it's gonna, for me to take to get back to that point, you know? That is not cool. Really? No reset? Wow. Uh, now I'm just purpose now I'm, I'm just flabbergasted that that uh, I don't remember that being that hard. Maybe I, I guess I guess I'm just I bought that I bought that uh, problem out of my head. I was like, no, that can't be right. I was, it it can't be real. It's not true. It's not possible. But yeah, seriously, that's not a reset. That's not or that's not a restore point or whatever. That cannot be true. Yeah, I guess I just have to focus, I guess. I guess I can't just, um, you know, play it loosey-goosey. Not that I've been trying to, it's just... It is definitely frustrating that, uh, that that wasn't a reason, that there's no reset points for a while. You think at least the room with... If I can't get to the main room with taking no damage, how am I going to, like, get to the actual restart point? I think what I'm gonna do is because you've already seen me go through that. I think I'm just gonna continue when I actually get to the, um, when I get to the actual fire room this time. So I'll see you when I actually get to the fire room. So see you in a moment. All right, we find ourselves back in the fire room again, and I one of the guys dropped one of those herbs. I I was actually kind of surprised. I was like, wait, what? I didn't think I thought they were like maybe a Medusa head only thing or something, but no, one of the. Uh, uh, I think I have to be careful. Um, yeah, I was about to say, those things drop very early. But yeah, I was like, I think it was one of the crossbowmen, actually, now that I think about it, uh, that dropped. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. Can I just go? Okay, I was about to say, I'm just gonna go. Okay, where are we now? Are we actually at Dracula's, like, little thing? I probably should... I'll leave the I'll leave the thing on for now. Let's see. Okay, now we're at the part with the bats, right? Yep. Yep. Cool. So basically, we they added the whole armor room is basically. Well, there goes that. Cool. Appreciate that. What? Seriously? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Way to way to start way to start coming back after all that work getting back to the thing getting the herb and then I immediately grab the wrong thing and and then when I get the clock I'm like okay well I'll just you know uh, avoid them until I get back and I'm like nope maybe I should just do what I did last time I got here I'll just like tr like try to avoid them and just like go straight as, as fast as I can back you know what the I jumped at the edge uh, you can tell you can tell folks that I'm getting I'm getting frustrated now <laughs> Uh, mainly because I've been, I mean, I, I split this episode into multiple parts, but I technically have been playing this back to back. I was just taking, I was basically taking small breaks in between the, um, initial episodes. I like, you know, take like 10 minutes or something like that, do something else and then come back. And, uh, but still, I'm still playing this relatively close to each other. So. Oh, but, oh, mm. Okay, cool. I wonder, no, we're not at the Dracula part yet, so I'll have to go all the way back here again, or through that one area again, just to get to this stage. Come 
on over, Bat. Yeah, I can't put, man, that one jump is, is stupidly like precise. You have to be like right on the very edge. I do not like that at all. Like having to be like right on the edge on that. It sh it shouldn't be like that that like um, specific, you know. Up oh, there's the crazy math again. At least it doesn't look so much like the the, the guy from uh, uh, from Mario Brothers too. Uh, do we have ninjas now? Ninja maids? What did you guys pop up from like anime or something like that? Oh man. Actually, I'll admit, I'm not actually a big fan of Castlevania becoming an anime, uh, like, design-inspired, if that makes sense. Like, ever since, like, Drag or Castlevania, or Castle Symphony of the Night, uh, all the character designs and, and the artwork for the game has become, you know, anime-inspired more than, like, gothic, uh, European gothic design, which I know anime is, de is Japanese, obviously, more inspired, so that's more their thing, but I preferred it when it was... Castlevania had the more European style art and everything attached to it. Whoa, what the heck? Look at that. Look at what it turned into. Like that crazy, that crazy lady. Yeah, I mean, it looks cool. Uh, oh, well, oh, there they go. Now you can see them. So they look, man, that's crazy. Where do we pop up at? I assume we pop at the beginning of the level. We haven't quite hit a Dracula level yet, have we? Yeah, we popped up here. Okay, I'll see you back when I when we pop back in with the crazy ninja maids. All right, we're back at the uh, ninja room again, and I was able to actually get the herb to spawn again. So, um, so I don't know. Maybe it's based off like how many times you die or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure. But I don't know. Just something about the ninja maids, just a little. For even for Castlevania, it seems a bit a, a bit insane. Uh, like a bit like eh, I don't know about that. Funny how they brought back the Panthers from the first, like, level or whatever. Although I don't know if I actually want to have this herb for the, like, last bits. Just because even though it heals, it's just... I don't know. Like, for less ha hearts... You, for less hearts, you could probably, like, use the sub-weapons to save your health at that point. Instead of, like, worrying about it. But, but I have to be careful about these, uh, new... These ninja maids turning. Because, uh, otherwise they'll, uh... They summon like that blue flame, so you have to like hit it before they do it or whatever. So otherwise, it'll home in on you. Man. Now those things are annoying. I mean, they were annoying before, but not that annoying. So. Huh? That was a weird. Oh, and we finally made it to uh, Dracula's like abode. So let's see how well we do. Probably gonna die quite a few times. Now I know in later versions of the game, there's like. Uh, a secret. I don't know if that was in the first game as well. There was a secret about getting some, like, secret... Um, like, there was a way to get to, like, uh, some hidden health power-ups, but that might be later versions. I was gonna drop and see, but I might test that off-screen if I end up dying again. Which I probably... Yeah, let's keep it. I mean, healing would be nice, but like I said, at this point it's more about I need the skill to get to it than straight up healing. So... All right, Dracula, I finally come to fight you. Where are you? Uh, what the? Now you look more like a Bela Lugosi type of. Oh, they bring back. Is this where they started the trend of having Dracula like uh, um, do the drinking the wine vial? But uh, oh yeah, he still does the fire things. I don't know if he always. Yeah, I don't think you can always jump over it. Sometimes I think you have to actually smack it this time. Sometimes, I know you can um, time it to where you can, um, like, hit the his face and the fire as well. So, yeah, not a good first outing, so. Okay, that kills you. I wasn't sure, because, like, in some versions, you could actually go through the go through it, and if you followed it, you could get some, like, items or something like that. But I guess maybe that's different versions. Or, like I said, all games afterwards or something. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Anyway, so I waste a lot. But if if it if, if there's anything like the original game, it'll reset us back here after after we die. So 
me try to not use that and see if I can see if the holy water will work on his uh, other form. All right, dude, I'm ready for you. What is a man? Anyway. No, it wasn't. Nope. I wonder. So this is almost a case where you want to jump, kind of like at the right moment, otherwise, so that way his fire, fire, flames don't hurt you. Yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna be a bit of work, because it's definitely completely different from the previous. Because I can't, I can't manipulate his fire like I could in the original NES one, or at least not easily. Um, because that one was pretty easy to figure out how to manipulate. This one. I, I swear it changes no matter how we're standing on him, so it, he'll randomize it. So if it, if it was like going straight the first time, this time it'll be going down or up or whatever. So I don't know. Yeah, too bad the uh, too bad we can't just get straight into the combat and have to wait for his uh, animation to go. So oh well. And I still got hit by the flames. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out like a really good. I guess I just either have to flip him twice, or, or like I said, like do the whole where wait till he opens his cape and then whip so I can whip all the fires. Unless you get, unless you get a bit of time to uh, whip his head after whipping the flame. Like, I'll have to see like what his uh, what his um, how long it takes for him to do that. I might be able to just whip the flames and then try to jump and whip him in the head. Just jumping and hitting him is is pretty quick in this game. Like I could oh whoops. Eh whatever. Alright, come on Dracula. Could you load a little faster please? Even in the NES game, he, it almost went straight to it, you know. It's almost like come on, I wanna get back into the action because I'm I'm kinda okay. nah, well if I can shoot the fire if I can't hit the fire, I have to be Really quick about it, yeah. Oh, and I even hit him in the face. Apparently, you get a heart if you uh, if you hit them both at the same time, or hit all of them sometimes. Yeah, it's all about just guessing when you need to. Sometimes, if I'm lucky, I might be able to get another hit. At least he doesn't. Uh, what's the word? Oh, did you see his face get a little pissed off? Ah. Oh, wow. Now he's shooting more. Okay, cool. Yeah, his face got angry. He got angry face. Of course, this fight, I'm not beating him, so. I oh, almost got him. Hopefully, he doesn't have another form. Right? Right? No, he's got another form. Boo. No, we knew this was going to happen. All right, come on, demon form. Okay, so he did. Whoa. Okay. I was actually almost thinking, oh, maybe I'll get lucky and not uh. Nope. He does something dickish when he uh. We almost got him. That was actually pretty good. So, all right, cross our fingers. I don't have to do the whole level again. Let's find out. Yay! Okay, cool. <laughs> I didn't think I had to redo the whole thing. I thought that, I, yeah, but I almost got him even as demon form because except when he jumped up and did a did like whatever that was. I think I think the boomerang is better than the holy water. Although maybe the holy water does stun him a bit longer. That's quite possible. I'll see if I can. Now yeah, I'll I'll try the boomerang again just to see if I can get lucky, but. At least now I know about the pattern of trying to jump at the right time at his flames. That makes it a lot easier to save my health than, than the NES version. So, well, that wasn't a good start. Now I kind of wish I had the herb at this point. Oh well. I gotta get, gotta get my confidence back and be able to hit the yeah. See. And try to get at least the game lets you get like multiple. Come on, man! I know how to do this. <laughs> I love when his face changes, like when he uh, gets. Uh oh. Oh, 
But you can tell you're like smacking his head off, you know. I know it could be faster on that. Whoops! Oh, come on! I know how to do this. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, it means I can only take a hit. So basically, like most certain types of games. So. Oh, don't summon right in front of me. <laughs> nope, man. <laughs> uh, I, I I knew I timed that very poorly. All right, keep going. Come on. Yeah, sorry. Game keeps loading. When it does that, it's loading, basically. Okay. All right, well, we'll see how many times this takes me just to kind of figure out the right pattern and, not, and get to a point where I don't even take any damage. So, like, when I get to him, I can... When I get to his demon form, I can... I can make a few more mistakes, but... Oops. I can get that by accident. <laughs> I mm, come on, you had I had the timing before. Sorry, I, I'm getting more mad at myself because I know how to do this now, and yet I'm making the obvious mistakes. You know. Oh, whew. okay. At least I I can afford every once in a while to. <laughs> I don't know why, just the face changing to, like, pissed off or whatever you want to call it is, is pretty funny. Unless it's his head getting knocked off, you know. Yeah, if you get that, like, timing right, you can just knock all the flames before they even come out of his face. You know, or his cape. Ah, one more. Okay. Now where's his body going to summon? Is it going to summon, like, right on top of me like last time? Okay. Not a good start. Dang it. Ah, no. 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 That wasn't cool, man. I should have moved. Like, as soon as he did that super jump in the air, I should have moved on the other side and, and started um, boomeranging him to death. So... I'm picking this up a lot faster, maybe because I was so used to, since I did the other NES one so many times, uh, I'm picking this up a bit quicker than that, but still, I'm probably going to end up having to redo this as many times as I did then, so, oh well. But yeah, I seem to be picking this up, I think I'm picking this up faster on this version, maybe because this is, despite the changes in the combat, I think it is slightly easier, like the fact that I can hit him multiple times pretty easily with, uh, you know, twice and seven or wait, like, once every time. I know I can do this without taking damage. But nope, I, 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 my body's like, no, you're gonna, you're gonna take that damage once. At least one time. One time, dealer, one time. And I keep hoping I'll save that holy wire just to see how it works on uh, him, but I feel like since, I think you still have to hit this guy in the face, so, um, so you might as well just keep the boomerang. Okay. One more. There we go. Ha. And his little head disappears too, so. Alright, reform. Form of Voltron. Oh, come. They jump up. Bull crap. Man, I can't just can't catch a freaking break, man. Ah, and I got too close to the flames. I'm so mad at myself, you know? Sorry, I'm readjusting in my chair so I can prepare myself, so. There we go. Alright. Once again. I don't know what up with the lady going, ah. Just, that was just funny. Come on out, Dracula. Come on out of your chair. I'm going to dance around while I'm waiting for you to load in. You're making me waste my time as they're loading inside. La 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 la. Lee lee lee. I didn't actually 
actually knock up the probably even hit the flames before it even came out. This game does not want me to have want me to try the holy water just because of his uh, randomization where he drops. Give me that angry face. Give me that beautiful. Get even angrier. Yeah. Angry. Angry. I don't even know what I'm talking about now. Okay. I'm just I I'm just trying to focus on this and uh, you know, trying to beat this guy that I'm just I'm oh I'm a little antsy. Wonder how many how many like people who played this game multiple times like <laughs> I think I think you can basically like um ow. I guess it only happens if he's like too far away. There we go. Yes, we did it. Woo, boy. We did it. We beat Dracula once again. Oh, it is. What the? What's going on here? Why is this castle like? Looks like it's so poured paint thinner all over it. It's like, spoosh. Kadoosh. The end of Dracula's castle and Simon's journey has been over. But we took too many wounds during that fight. I wonder if that'll affect us later on in our life. Nah, it's probably fine. Nah, too bad there's no goofy uh, credits this time. No Christopher B and and, and uh, Trans Fisher or, or you know anything like that. So actual legitimate uh, credits so we can actually appreciate the people that put the work into this. So uh, yeah, I think they did a overall. I think they did a pretty good job with this. Uh, um, Re redo or remaster or whatever you want to call it at the time. Obviously in 1996 or whatever, whenever they did, or was it six or 93? Whatever. When they did this remastering wasn't really a thing. Oh, Simon Belmondo. Yeah, apparently in Japan he's actually not Simon Belmont. He's actually Simon Belrudo or however it goes. Um, and that's how it's pretty much stuck. So yeah, that's why that's why it's El Belmundo. But then they changed it to Belmont in the American version because I guess they thought it sounded better, which I like. I mean, obviously, nostalgia class, class to the side. I thought, um, Belmont does sound, doesn't sound as good as Belmont. Belmont sounds more European of a name, you know what I mean? Belmundo sounds like, I don't know, some, well, I guess Belmundo could be like, but anyway, look at the previous game, the game restarts again, so, but yeah, once again, I beat it, well, it took four episodes this time, so the game's a little bit longer, but I appreciate it nonetheless, and I think Konami, when they did make games, that they did a good job on, you know, adding new graphics, um, but there is one more thing to try and do, um, I'm not going to show it off right now in this episode. I might do a bonus episode, or maybe I'll go through the arranged version and see like, what the difference is off screen, and then I'll show you what the difference is. But the bonus episode may be me just showing off the arranged version on that. So, but anyway, I thought, yeah, I thought the music was great. The, 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 um, the jumping mechanics are very solid. You know, I didn't see notice really any major glitches or any weirdness going on. The whip is responsive and fast. And being able to whip down was pretty nice. I'm glad to, I mean, I don't mind whipping in some directions because it makes some sense, you know. So you can't whip up, so. Which is hard to do on a whip anyway, so. Um, and I think all the sub-weapons were used, and I like the, the new bosses. They were just challenging enough without uh, without being super annoying. I mean, some of them were annoying, but you know what I mean. They, and they added, gave all the new abilities and stuff like that, so it wasn't just a straight copy, so. Because they could have easily just repackaged the game and told you, well, buy it, you know, that type of thing, but they didn't, so, and I appreciate that at the time, so, so yeah, I think the Chronicles was a good purchase, I think it was only like 20 bucks, 20 or 30 bucks when it came out, so it wasn't a bad price for it, at least I think I remember it not paying 60 bucks for it, I think I remember, maybe I got it on sale or something like that, so, but anyway, once again, Dra Dracula's been beat, we've uh, played a different version of it, maybe, maybe in the future I'll play like 
Super Castlevania, because that's basically another reimagining of this game, uh, of the first game. So, um, but for now, I'll, uh, uh, play something uh, something else for the spooky holiday. Maybe I'll play another Castlevania game. But by the time this episode comes out, I might be I might um, have made like maybe another. Um, oh yeah, this is the fleet thing again. So we'll see what happens though. So um, but anyway, either way, let's take a break from uh, Vampire Hunter and uh, get a nice rest. Because, uh, you know, uh, for, for, if we're out before uh, before night hits, it'll be a bad day to have a curse. And no one wants that. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next game. And happy Halloween season. <laughs>